All right, today I'm taking a look at the HIK Micro B20. So this is the new and upgraded model of this. This is the one that I already have. I love this thing. This is the E1L, but this is the brand new model. It has a bigger screen, higher resolution. So I am really excited to see how well this one works. I love the foam padding they put in this. This is like the, the rubbery type of foam. Very nice stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. There, just to see the size difference on the screen. I mean, this thing is, it's bigger. <laughs> Yeah, when you're looking at a tiny screen, especially if you're trying to see details, that makes a difference. But yeah, that size difference is huge. All right, so I'm going to put this one away. Go ahead and take this screen protector off. Oh, that is so nice looking. It's not really picking anything up, though. What am I doing wrong? Oh, okay, so this has got a little little uh, cover right there. That's actually really cool. That's one of the things I worry about with the other one. I actually keep that one in the box all the time just because I'm worried about breaking it, but this one actually has a cover for the lens. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And that's one of the things I really love about these things. It's just, it does everything automatically. Like you can see that little uh, marker over there moving around trying to find the hottest point. So it's going to pinpoint exactly what it's measuring and how hot it is. So it will tell you the hottest point on the screen. You can see we'll move to the tips of my fingers over there. I don't know why the tips of my fingers are so hot. I guess that's just the way it is. But you can see on the side of the screen over here, so it's measuring between 25 degrees and 23 degrees. So that'll give you kind of a range. And right now I moved up to 34 to 23 degrees. So that'll give you a range of what it's actually seeing. Because if it just, you know, if you try to point this at something super hot, it would warm up everything around it and you wouldn't really be able to see. So this automatically adjusts depending on what you're trying to actually look at. But comparing to those little infrared guns where you just point the laser at something and then you, you try and figure out everything, this actually paints a picture to tell you exactly what you're looking at so you can visually identify problems. So much nicer. I love these things. And this screen is just beautiful. I mean, I love that. And of course, it's packed with features. The other one was packed with features too. I think the one thing that makes this one cool is that you can actually automatically send pictures to your phone. I'm going to press the trigger on here. There we go. All right, so we got a picture there. And we can take it back, we can review it, send it to our boss, say, hey, see, that's what's going on. Love that stuff. And we can send this right to our phone so we can text that to our boss and uh, just bypass all the, you know, taking a picture of the screen. We can actually get the actual image and send that over. So that's beautiful. We can do it without having to use a memory card. It's just so convenient. And on top of that, one of the things I love about this, it's actually got a quarter 20 mount on the bottom. So I can throw this thing on a tripod and that can get a clear, even like a time lapse of something going on. So it's not, I'm not going to worry. If I try to hold this thing by hand, it would be shaking all over the place. So having this thing on a tripod and the other one work like that too, just makes using this things so much nicer if you're trying to evaluate especially something that's happening over a long period of time all right got the rule display settings so we can turn on and off the hot spot the cold spot the center spot we can you can just modify the heck out of this thing and that's i mean i just love that alarm yeah that's cool so you can uh you can have it tell you if there's a problem going on measurement range so you can actually adjust that and fine tune it the way that you like it you can change the color palette if you don't like that there you go. You can see it looks a little bit different. And if you're colorblind, I mean, that might that might help. I'm not, so I'm not really sure how much that would help, but for people that that would help, it'll help. Distance, white light, unit. Okay, so right now it's in Celsius, and I like that you can adjust that. And now it's in Fahrenheit. So now you can actually take a look and see what my fingertips are doing. I mean, I love just, <laughs> it's so cool look at this thing tracking around, identifying issues. It's like it's doing the work for you. Just cool that it does all that stuff. So then on the top, we've got charging port. And there's just way more stuff on here that I'm going to even go into. Just know that I love this thing. I'm going to be using it. These things are awesome.